All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I know it's been a minute, but I've been occupied with a few other things that life has just threw at me. It's been a bit of a difficult time, but I'm doing my best to keep my heads up. Um, so nonetheless, anyways, let's just get right into it. Today I have with me is the unique Alpaca toiletry bag. It's one of Alpaca's accessories that seamlessly integrates with their ecosystem in design and color. This bag can conveniently store all your travel skincare essentials or grooming tools. Here are the features. I'll just put a screenshot up in the screen here and have a read through it and pause the screen if you have to. I'll also list the dimensions as well. So let's start with the exterior. The exterior features Alpaca's consistent designs throughout their product line using the 200D ripstop nylon for the axle flux. The front is equipped with waterproof uh, YKK zippers to protect your items from water. The bag stands perfectly fine on its own as you can see and it features a solo logo on the right here which is consistent with their other Alpaca products. The front compartment here is designed to hold uh, many small items for quick access. For this video I've already loaded some items to give you an idea of what it hold. Inside here I got some um, glasses wipes, some cotton pads and some uh, ear tips. So I just have this stored in here. Inside we have the compartment which is lined with great 210D ripstop nylon, making it consistent with the other uh, alpaca products as well but the difference is, is this one's just 210D. Onto the sides here there are no additional features on the sides so we can just move straight to the back and then on the back here you can see that there's two small attachment loops right here which is uh, designed for the removable wrist strap and um, you could use these to hook onto any sort of hook in hotels or in the place you're staying. This strap can be attached to either side depending on your preference. It is made of seatbelt like material which fits comfortably around my wrist uh, perfectly fine. You do have this uh, clip here which is removable but we'll not need to remove that. In the middle here there's an open pocket for storing smaller items. I didn't put anything in here for this demonstration because I wasn't too sure what to store in here but you can see that it just goes down to about here. So yeah, um, just be cautious with this pocket as it's quite loose and it is open. So that's pretty much the exterior covered, uh, pretty straightforward. And now we're gonna move on to the interior. So upon opening up the wide main compartment, it does open up with an accordion style sides, as you can see, which allows it to expand wide and maintain its structure. The first thing you'll probably notice is the X grid in the center here. That's most likely unusual for many of you. It's a unique design. Um, and to be honest, this is the first time for me as well, but it is quite good. It does help keep your items divided and your items uh, upright. The X grid is malleable and can be pushed to either sides if you got a larger item to fit into here. So what I mean is if you got a larger item in here, you can just push this off to the side and it's, um, it's movable or malleable or vice versa on the other side as well. So you could just fit larger items in here. The front side, we got a full length separate mesh pocket, which I have a, a toothbrush stored in here already, as you can see. And in height, it does only go up to about halfway, halfway here, and the rest is just pretty much the, the material or the lining on the inside. So it's just halfway here, this mesh pocket. And apparently they have silent zippers, but I don't know, there's nothing quite silent about this. So I don't know why that is listed on a spec sheet, but apparently they're silent zippers, but yeah. So just going by what's in the grid in the middle here, I'll just show you what I have in here. So I got some uh, balm, shaving balm, razor, and then in the center here, we got some toothpaste, some uh, aftershave or perfume, and we got some body wash here, some shampoo, and then this, this other side here, we got some hair wax, some lotion, and some tissues. So yeah, that's pretty much in the expert. Of course, you can fit a bit more things, but this is what I have with me on my small travels. So moving on to the back here, as usual, we have the alpaca woven tab, which you've probably recognized by now. Below it, we do have a separate mesh pocket that spans the entire back side of this. This pocket includes breathable holes for ventilation. Uh, currently, I just have a facial mask stored in here. If you have additional items, you can also store them uh, in here as well. You can see that it does have the top bit as well, and the full, the full back side. And then also, you could store other items that you may have on top of here on top of the, the x grid like this if you have like a lot of items so yeah there's also a bit of headroom right here as well which is really good onto the pros and cons a major advantage of this toiletry bag is its versatility not only can it hold toiletries it could also accommodate additional items such as tech gadgets with the strap on the back here it can be converted into a sling offering a lot of flexibility which is a significant plus the chosen material is also thinner as well providing a lot of flexibility for bending and pressing down yet it still maintains enough rigidity to hold the shape. The drawback might be that if you're like me and you prefer to use skincare products in their original bottles, you'll find that they come in many shapes and sizes. To maximize space, you might want to use uh, small refillable bottles, which is something I started to develop uh, a habit quite some time ago as well. 
is just to use refillable bottles or just purchase these smaller ones because you do just save so much more room uh, in doing so. But that's ultimately up to the individual anyways. The center back here, uh, the pocket right here, could do with a zipper or a little magnet, which I think would make that little pocket a bit more better, to be honest. So that brings me onto the pricing size and color. The bag comes in at one size only, and the color is black. It comes in at 40 pounds here in the UK. So for other currencies, please check accordingly and it has a 2 litre capacity. So on to conclusion, the Alpaca Toiletry Bag presents a slick and practical solution for organising your essentials on the go. Its robust build, complemented by waterproof features, instills confidence in the ability to safeguard your items. The inclusion of the unique X-Grid system enhances organisation, ensuring everything stays in place during your travels. Despite one minor improvements like adding a closure to the back pocket or some sort of magnet, uh, it's very minor and its overall functionality and versatility make it uh, such a great choice, especially if you're part of the alpaca ecosystem anyways it literally is a no-brainer yeah if you stayed until the end here you'll find a special discount code in the description box down below or even in the comments which i pinned at the top feel free to use that to save yourself some extra bucks thank you for all your support as always i've been actively answering your questions uh, that you have so feel free to let me know down below and that's all for today guys and please like comment subscribe as usual and enjoy the rest of your day thanks very much